So what's up everybody? This is going to be a video that I was actually thinking about this and it stood out to me looking back at past chapters and I also made a video slightly touching on this topic and it has to do with Charmy. I still believe Charmy is probably going to be a sleeper agent to the Dwarf Kingdom or whatever plan the Dwarves have. However, the thing that was very interesting to me was that she was so close to Julius. Charmy literally sat on Julius' lap like a little child. To me, I didn't think Tabata did that for no reason. And now that we know that Julius is Lucius. I think Lucius has something in store for Charmy and his plan. Keep in mind, it was Yami that found Charmy randomly in the forest. And we all know that Lucius got close to Yami and William Vengeance so he can do the Tree of Cliff Off ritual. So with that being said, this video will focus on the possible plans that Lucius has for Charmy and the Dwarfin race. So let's get into this. First of all, if you like anime, manga reviews, discussions, spoilers, and theories, definitely hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, like the video, like, comment, so associate me with some false copyright strikes. Let's get this channel back to 5,000. Check out the Discord and Patreon. So kind of recapping on my older video, I believe Charmy is a sleeper agent. And the reason why I say that is because she didn't really know that she was part dwarf. I mean, it's kind of clear she's part dwarf in a way because she's very short for her age. She's 19. It was kind of giving signs that she was not a normal human being. And then we really realize that she's actually half human and half dwarf. Real, when he was possessed by the elf, confirmed that. And something that kept standing out to me is the fact that Osiroff, we know, has something to do with Julius. We saw Charmy and Julius being close to each other. Lucius, who was Julius in disguise, or Julius was actually Lucius in some way, we're not entirely sure the exact details. And Lucius has a connection to Osiroff. Osiroff is known to have two forms. He's known to have the demon form, he's known to have his goddess form. And Charmy has two forms as well the human form and then her normal state form which i'm guessing is her dwarf form with that being said it seems like tabata is hinting on something that charmy has something to do with lucius or he has something in store for charmy being a part of his plan maybe there's a way that the dwarves have something that lucius wants but he needs to use charmy to infiltrate the dwarf kingdom because i still think that the dwarves are very secretive because of how that elf that was possessing real was speaking about them it seems like not a lot of people know too much about dwarves. Even Charmy herself didn't know that she was a dwarf. So that itself was kind of weird to me. Like I still think she's like a sleeper agent in some sense. But Lucius most likely brought Charmy to Yami. It's clear that Yami has been used as a pawn for Lucius' plan to do the Tree of Cliff Off. So what does Charmy have to do with Lucius? There's a connection there. Black Clover doesn't do things without reason. It's been quite clear now. We've been all guessing that Julius was the Force of Gotti sibling or he had some connection to Ostroff. There was a lot of signs and now it's quite clear that Julius is Osroff. So Charmy was very friendly to Julius. She was basically sitting on his lap. It was too ominous to me because I did have some suspicion of Julius. He was a little shady. I know Tabata was trying to draw like a cute moment, but it still was kind of like hinting that these two characters have some type of connection that we don't know about. Obviously not in like, you know, father and daughter type of the way. I'm talking more about the lines of her knowing Julius more than we actually think. And the fact that Yami yeah, me found her in the forest and there's not much explanation as to that specific time in the story. We just saw like a little hint image when Yami was basically having his flashbacks of how the Black Bulls were created and the current members were recruited. Black Clover tends to foreshadow like that. They give you like a small little image and that image means something in the future. It's the same thing that happened when unknowingly we went to Nott's house. We didn't know it was Nott's home at the time when Asta was training to do the Devil Union and fight Libe, we saw a little image at the bottom and it had two brothers. And it looked like there was one with light hair and there was one with dark hair. But it was hard to see and it was very like subtle. You had to like really focus on that picture to realize that it was foreshadowing not had a sibling and we were later revealed that it was his twin. So Black Clover does those type of foreshadows. Yami finding Charmy in the forest with that little image in his flashback is kind of leaning to Charmy's origin being very important in the story. And whatever plan Lucius has for Charmy in the Dwarf Kingdom, it's not going to be good, obviously. I mean, we've seen the fact that a devil who was Zagreth basically caused the massacre of the elves. So I wouldn't be surprised if the other humanoids, which is dwarves, a devil will want to start doing evil things towards them as well. And I think Osiroth is the cause of the elves being massacred. So I wouldn't be surprised if he's planning the same type of massacre for the dwarves. And whatever reason, he's going to need their magic to carry out his diabolical plan. 
plan. Because we're not entirely sure what Ostroff and Lucius has in plan yet. We just know he has a plan. He has Lucifer's heart. So what is the point of him having Lucifer's heart? It still doesn't make sense to me. It's a lot of mysteries that haven't been explained. And obviously they're going to be explained in the next arc. But these type of mysteries is what like makes Black Clover so awesome. As a fandom, we always like talking about these mysteries. But Charmy has something to do with Lucius' plan. I still think Charmy is a sleeper agent. And I think that the Dwarf Kingdom has ill will or has bad feelings towards humanity. We just don't know yet because humanity most likely forgot of the evil deed that they did. And that's why dwarves kind of stick to their own. However, it would be very interesting if Charmy was basically born into existence all for Lucius's plan. Because Lucius, from what we've seen, we're not entirely sure how much he planned out things. He could have planned out all of what happened when Asta joining the Black Bulls, Asta getting his grimoire. It could have been all Lucius and Ostra's plan because he has time magic. And apparently he can probably look into the future. As to the prediction ability that Julius had, that probably was coming from Ostaroff, so Ostaroff could probably do something like that. So Charmy could have been born into existence because of Lucius and Ostaroff's plan to create a hybrid of a human and a dwarf. And that could be that link to the dwarves. And throughout mythology with many cultures, dwarves are known to be excellent blacksmiths. So I wouldn't be surprised if Lucius would want the dwarves to create some type of material or some type of weapon and fabricate it, but he's gonna need like someone like Charmy to basically butter up or be that linking connection towards the dwarf in the kingdom. And think about it, as of now, the Black Bulls have no suspicion of Julius, unless not suspect something. He probably knows that there's a fourth Sagrati sibling. However, besides that, the Black Bulls are completely in favor of Julius. So if Julius were to request something from them, say about the dwarf kingdom, say he wants Charmy to check out more of their history, they will probably won't refuse. And Charmy would do it with a smile on her face, not knowing she's being used as a pawn for whatever evil intentions Lucius has. And once, you know, Lucius gets that foot in the door towards the Dwarf Kingdom, they could create a weapon for him that can either break the seals of the dimensional barrier between the underworld and the human world and whatever the dimensions there are in Black Clover. Because it's clear that the underworld, there is a dimensional barrier, meaning that there's probably other dimensions in the Black Clover universe. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's probably like a divine dimension, something similar to Judeo Christianity Heaven or Valhalla in Norse mythology. So there's going to be something like that. And maybe Lucius needs the dwarves to create that weapon that can cut between dimensions. Dwarves in Norse mythology are known to create weapons for the gods that could actually slay gods as well. So there's a possibility that Lucius' plan is to slay divinity in Black Clover and he needs the dwarves' assistance. But of course, they're not going to help an outsider. He's going to need somebody that can help him. And the only people that could help him is a hybrid because having a full-blooded dwarf outside of the dwarf kingdom is probably heavily forbidden in the dwarf kingdom society. So there's just many possibilities in that. And I definitely think Lucius has a plan for Charmy. And Charmy is going to be like super important in the next arc. I mean, we already knew that she had some role moving forward because of the dwarf. There's a reason why they haven't been shown in the series. It's probably because it's part of Lucius' plan. It's part of his end game. I wonder if the dwarves can create or get a mineral for Lucius to use Lucifer's heart in some way. It'll be very interesting. I really want to see what Lucius has in store and what is his end goal because we still really don't know. It's just all speculation at this point. But Lucius at the end of the day is most likely evil unless somehow he's trying to help Asta become Wizard King. But I'll definitely make another video about that because you guys keep asking me for that. You guys keep saying that maybe Ostroff is good. Some of you guys keep saying that I'm thinking too much. But the thing is Black Clover has foreshadowing but their foreshadowing is different than other mangas. Their foreshadowing is that they'll show you an image and it's going to be like kind of just thrown in there and then that image has a lot of importance towards the story. Not just Nat's brother but also the two young elf kids. They were actually shown when Asa basically was going and trying to save Patri. Black Clover's foreshadowing it's a different approach than other mangas. So Charmy sitting on Julius's lap. She was very close to him and I know she was kind of like being treated as you know a child but it kind of seemed like a little relationship between like I'm somewhat of your father figure and we still don't know who's Charmy's parents but yeah that's basically all I have to say thank you so much for watching let me know what you think about this video let me know what you think about this theory do you think that Charmy is being used by Lucius something similar to what's going on with Yami and William Vengeance because it seems like Lucius with the help of Beelzebub brought Yami to the Clover Kingdom because of space magic he can read a portal to the Clover Kingdom where Lucius is at do you think the dwarves look at Charmy as an outsider do you think they're going to treat her as one of them because she's 
part dwarf. Do you think that in dwarfin society, it's forbidden for dwarves to get out of their kingdom? Do you think Charmy's parents were basically manipulated to get together because of Lucius' plan? Like if you like the video, comment, subscribe, and I'm out of here.